Welcome my fellow high seas cruisers, Chris here and welcome to today's video and it is once again time to update our cruise tips to bring you the latest up to date cruise tip information, things that brand new cruisers need to know before taking their very first cruise and today we're going to start off talking about cruise ship TV. Now this is one we see a lot of comments for because what people are used to at their house is not what you're going to get when you get on board a cruise ship. Now while it does vary from cruise line to cruise line, normally what you're going to get on board a cruise ship is fairly limited when it comes to television. You're going to get a new station. You might have a couple of stations that show some TV shows or some movies. You might have some like pay-per-view options where you can purchase some movies, perhaps some free movies. But as a general rule, it is fairly limited. So the chances of you hopping on board a cruise ship and seeing your favorite primetime show in your cruise cabin, well, that's not going to happen. These TV stations, these TV channels, they want to charge the cruise lines millions and millions of dollars to put these programs on board the ships. And well, the cruise lines say they are just not going to pay those prices. But we have people ask all the time, why can I not get my favorite news station? Well, which one does the cruise lines pick that makes everybody happy? Why is my favorite college football game not being played on the big screen? Why is election coverage not up on the big screen? Well, not only does the cruise line not carry a lot of that stuff, well, a lot of people just don't want to necessarily all watch the same thing. So if you have a cruise coming up and it is going to be a first time cruise for you, just know that yes, there is a TV in your cabin. Yes, there are things on it to watch. No, it is not always going to be a huge selection of things that you are really interested in seeing. However, there are some alternatives out there if there's just something you absolutely have to watch while you are out cruising. And that's going to be to get the internet package on board the ship and then use a streaming service of your choice. Just about every channel out there has an app, some way to stream their programming. So by getting the Wi-Fi package, you can download that app on your device, your phone, a tablet, your computer, and that will allow you to still watch your favorite programming. Now, some apps out there, let's say like Netflix, for an example, you do have the ability, if you have it at home before you get on the cruise, you can actually go through and download some stuff to your device, some shows, some movies, download it to your device before you leave your house, then you can watch it on the ship and not need internet. Just remember, if you're a first time cruiser going on the ship for the very first time, TV programming on the ship is limited. So like, don't walk in the cabin and just expect to have a full array of TV options like you would have at your house. And if you go on a cruise knowing what to expect, you will simply have a better cruise experience. All right, and that is gonna be our cruise tip for today. If you've enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.